Peace, peace, what it is and what it do, family. It's your boy Cash, and you are now tuned into the Hip Hop Channel, where we bring you weekly videos and news, gossip, trending topics, and everything hip hop. Man, it's another sad day in hip hop, man. As y'all can see, DJ K Slay dead at age 55 after COVID battle. And I don't know if y'all remember a few months back when WAC 100 was on Clubhouse and he had said that, um, K Slay was in the hospital fighting for his life, battling COVID. And um, <clears throat> K Slay's brother, I forgot his name, and I apologize for that, but he he was saying how, um, you know, it wasn't true that uh, K Slay was uh, doing better and he's going to make a full recovery and whatnot. And then this just came out that the brother passed, so... It's like, damn, man, like, you was really wishing, really rooting for K-Slay, like, K-Slay, like, I don't, man, there's nothing to not like about K-Slay, you know what I'm saying? He always been a stand-up dude, from what I know of, and, um, I'm gonna just get right into this article, man. DJ K-Slay died after a four-month battle with COVID, this according to his family and peers. The New York-based legendary hip-hop ambassador passed away Sunday, first confirmed by WAC 100 and then others as tributes started to pour in from across the industry. His family writes, Our hearts are broken by the passing of Keith Grayson, professionally known as DJ K-Slay. They added a dominant figure in hip-hop culture with millions of fans worldwide. DJ K-Slay will be remembered for his passion in excellence with a legacy that will transcend generations. K Slay, aka Dead, started out as a graffiti artist in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, and I didn't know nothing about that because, you know, I was born in 87, so that's before my time. Uh, and later branched out into music, making his big splash in the early 2000s through the local radio and music scene with his big personality and unique beat selection, not to mention his wicked flow. I don't know if they're talking about if he used to spit or, or what. If he did used to rhyme, I ain't know about that either. Um, his most He's most famous for his mixtapes, cranking out more than a dozen, dating back to 2003, plus other solo and compilation artists, which often featured huge names in the game, including Nas, Swiss Beats, Nori, Raekwon, Lloyd Banks, and Foxy Brown. His Street Sweeper series is one of his major claims to fame, as was his recurring radio spot on Hot 97, which was dubbed the Drama Hour, another nickname he bore. DJ K. Slay was also known for his disses in his track and was once called Hip Hop's One Man Ministry of Insults by the New York Times. Dez contracted coronavirus in December and was hospitalized for a while. While he showed signs of recovering thereafter, it became clear over time he was struggling to get back to 100%. DJ K. Slade was 55. R.I.P. Yes, brother, rest in peace, man. And thank you for everything that you did in hip-hop and all the artists you put on and you know what I'm saying? Your legacy will definitely live on forever, my brother. Rest in power, man. Y'all, give this video a like if y'all like it. Share if you feel like you want to share it. Leave a comment if you want to leave a comment. And subscribe if you want to hear more videos. I'm going to highlight y'all on the next one. Peace.